Cool. Oh yeah, we're recording now with the clean lens. Nice. So where are we, Robbie? We're at Great Wani Crag, which is uh, in Northumberland. One of my favourite places to climb. South of Edinburgh, only about an hour and a half's drive, something like that. Yeah, like some, some really standout, standout climbs here. I think one of the really cool things about Great Wani is that compared to other places in Northumberland, it really provides that sense of exposure that you don't get at other crags. Or some super steep, steep, proud lines like Crisis Zone, amazing E7, Endless Flight E5, Endless Flight Direct, which was one of the hardest climbs in Northumberland at the time, put up by the legend Andy Earl. This is a really cool place to come and climb. I love it. It's a place that everyone really gets a lot out of for being in nature, you know. I think it's a pretty special place and uh, it shouldn't really be tarnished by a huge big obstacle sticking out the ground that really has no purpose being there. I mean, I'm not against the concept um, of, you know, celebrating culture and like local Northumbrian, I don't know, arts. Um, not even against celebrating uh, or commemorating the Queen in any way. It's just, you know, whether this structure is right for the area. It just seems like, you know, this is like a really like beautiful, you know, raw and natural landscape that kind of doesn't really need, you know, a huge, you know, metal structure, 55, 56 meters in height, you know, bursting straight out of the ground, disrupting that, you know, beautiful landscape. Nearer a more urban environment would make much more sense. Whereas, you know, kind of like landing at slapdash in the middle of Northumberland, which is a beautiful natural park. It just doesn't make any sense to me. Robbie, it's a pretty nice view here, isn't it, walking on this road? Yeah, lovely. <laughs> yeah, get the nice turbines and nice moving turbines. We've got beautiful a open landscape. We've got a very much a hypnotic flow to them. It hypnotized does, yeah. by their wonderful turbines and their propellers it's it's circling. It would be lovely now if they had one that was just three times the size stuck in the middle of the floor and rusty. Yes, it would be lovely. <laughs> lovely sight to, to behold. So this is where the turbine's going? Yeah, just over here. We're going to hit this gate and then head straight through the field. And I'm hoping to find the, the point at which the landmark will be rebuilt. So this is where the landmark is proposed to be built. It's actually a really beautiful place. You can see the sandstone boulders and rocks kind of dotted around the place. It's a really like natural and like, and like really like a awesome place to be. Just sitting here. <laughs> you can see uh, over, the left, over the left here, you've got East Woodburn. This is a really popular climbing spot. And over to the right, I can see in direct view, Great Wani Crag. Yeah, so having a structure like that, which would impose on all these beautiful places, would really be a shame. We're currently at East Woodburn, where I've just gone for a wee climb and uh, East Woodburn is situated adjacent to Cold Law, the hill where the Elizabeth landmark is going to be built. So East Woodburn is a really nice location. It overlooks some beautiful landscapes. You can see, you know, pretty uh, clearly from uh, the climbing on East Woodburn, the hill of Cold Law where the Elizabeth landmark is going to be. You can also see over to Great Wani Crag which uh, 
just kind of just over the way, that's also kind of going to be overlooking the same area where the Elizabeth Landmark will be built. Um, and you know, just, it's like a really nice place, like the sun coming in hits the crag at a really nice angle, it creates like a be really beautiful and almost magical uh, sort of set of colours. The sandstone really like comes out in that um, you know, golden hour of light, which creates like a really unique effect when you're climbing. The Elizabeth Landmark is going to be a direct, uh, in direct sight of uh, East Woodburn, and I know like you, there's a lot of like you know wind turbines around, but you know these are only there for 25 years, and so they're going to eventually come down. But this uh, static uh, turbine, shall you say, is going to be there permanently, um, and it's going to be a permanent scar on the landscape. The Keep the Wannies group on Facebook has accrued over 1,800 members. That's 1,800 people who have signed up in support of the objection of the building of uh, the Elizabeth Landmark. The best thing that you could do is go to that page, follow and object with your own written letter via email or, or written properly on paper and send it to them. Um, send it to the planning inspector and all the details for that will be at the bottom of the description um, below the YouTube video. As a climber from Edinburgh who's been coming to Northumberland you know, for the last 15 years and enjoying this place, walking in the countryside, climbing on the crags, it really mean a lot to me and to the local community here and everyone who enjoys this wonderful place for your support. Thanks very much. <laughs> that was beautiful. Oh, yeah, man. man I, I'm going to sign up after that. <laughs>